All right. This is the Victos um, Cadre backpack. Got this backpack from them the other day. Just wanted to talk a little bit about it. Um, I think there's about one other video um, I've seen with the backpack. But I'll just start off with it on me. It does have a hip strap also. That is right here. But I'll just put on the strap for now. I'm about five, six. 155. This is a pretty big backpack. Um, I have um, I have some Kelty Tactical backpacks that are almost 30 liters, 30 liters, and this feels bigger. I don't know how many liters this one is. Um, maybe it says right here. Let's get into the backpack. Let me zoom in a little bit and uh, show you how this thing is. This is it. It is pretty squarish. Um, these, actually the cool thing, it came with the straps in the zipper compartment up here. But let me show you the strap really quick. They are logoed with the Victos logo right there. It's like an embossed, not embossed, but like pops out. I guess it's embossed the other way. Um, out. The cool thing I saw that these can unclip. They're like almost molly instead of a slide they're kind of molly so you can kind of pop them out and then move them up and down so when they go across your chest that is pretty cool here's the bottom that i talked to a waist buckle that i didn't really want to adjust there but um and then it has on the back side it has these compartments here hold on a second tuck this in here still has a tag on it because i wanted to do a video before i dirtied it up Put it in here, quickly, and then actually zips up right there. And these handles can tuck away these little compartments here. Just like that. And then look how clean that is. So when you're in an airport and you're pulling your little thing, these can go onto the handle. I'm assuming that's what it's for. It looks like it's perfectly made for that. And it has a little bit of slack so it can fit in there perfectly. It has the Victos logo on the bottom. And um, here's the side. It has these kind of covert molly panels, which are pretty cool. Because you can still molly, but they lay really flat. Um, and the handles have like a little elastic in there, so they lay super flat, and then they have a little bit of spring to them. Like super flat, a little bit of spring. Same, they have, um, the hand, they have the molly, like a strip going across it. And they're all, not this one isn't. This one has a spring also. This is logoed on, looks like both sides, but not on the top handle. Um, probably because it has a logo right here. Let's get this focus. It wants to focus on faces. So, it has a logo right here, branded. And then the top has a little Victos logo right there. And uh, has a little piece of uh, Velcro you can put a patch on. And here's, here's the top panel which is pretty deep. So the top panel goes to about right here. Put your goodies in there, then it has a little mesh pocket up here that you could just store knickknacks, um, whatever you're gonna do. So from there, we'll go to the first panel, which is right here. And this panel is your normal organizing panel so you have your bladder hook right here, and you have your port that goes out. So when you run in a bladder, 
I can go right here. So that's that part. Then from there, there's your storage for your bladder. It has a normal little, it's kind of hard to see, especially with my fancy lighting. So you have a little mesh um, storage container, normal pockets, goes runs the whole length. On this side is your laptop holder, which is a soft material right there. So uh, you could probably put your um, panel right here, um, like a soft panel, soft body armor right there, laptop. Or even if you pull, I was thinking about, even if you pull these handles out, you can maybe fit it in that extra space where the, where the straps were. So that might be kind of cool. Let's zip it up. I'm just going to run through this really quick so we can start using it. So, it also, before I get into that, on the outside has another panel or another zipper down here on the butt, which stores the rainproof cover. So, there you go. Pretty awesome. I like this. Um, a lot of times, actually, because I do a lot of stuff at the beach, that I will actually have it filleted open, and then so the sand doesn't get in, I have it on the bottom. So I actually use this a lot, even if it's not raining, because I'm in sandy areas, just to keep it cleaner. Tuck it back in. has a waterproof panel zipper right here, which is the top one. So the top one is very interesting. Let's get into the main pack. There's a Barrett. Um, patch. All right. Oh, the other guy didn't mention this also, which is awesome. So you can carry, in California, you have to have a, a box, a lock box for your firearms. So these are lockable zippers, you can see, which I appreciate it. I tell people all the time when they make packs, put these little lock zippers on it. So you can run a little lock right here, and that is considered a lockable case. Um, so I could just put my firearm there. If I have a lock there, I'm carrying a lock, a lock case. So that is pretty awesome. Thank you for doing that. Helps out a lot. So, filleted open. So when you first get it filleted open, you'll see this little pack, this little thing right here, and it comes with these bunch of Velcro, Molly Velcro attachments, and they're branded. Nice touch. So they're just sitting right here. But this has this little pouch. I thought it was just Velcro, but let's unvelcro this right here. Look how long this either I would say it, I would consider a two way compartment. And that goes back to this weatherproof zipper right here. So Unzip this, this compartment, pull it out, and then if you're hiking with your rifle, you can put your rifle in there. Technically, this bottom, here's, so this is the pouch where the, um, the rain cover was in. You could take that out and poke it through the bottom side also, and it'd be longer in the butt. So if you had like a a hunting rifle you could probably get in there. Just something to think about. Um, it does have, so let's just go over this part really quick. In the lid it has a little mesh compartment here where you probably put like everyday stuff. Then it has this long compartment on the lid 
that if you're carrying clothes, dirty clothes, wet clothes, damp or something, looks like it's a rip stop material. Um, I would pro like I put sandy stuff in here, like uh, my running clothes and stuff like that. I'll stick in my backpack. You know, I like that extra compartment, keep it away from everything else. Filleted open. It has these two side elastic compartments where it comes, where's this focus at? It comes over the top a little bit. It, don't, it doesn't snap close or anything, but it, like, it folds over the top, so it holds it. Um, then the side compartment, there's, they're identical on both sides, so the side compartment is actually kind of padded. Um, don't know the reason for that. Maybe to give it a little bit more structure and uh, whatever you're putting in there, maybe it's a little bit more fragile. Um, but it's like a little puffy compartment on both sides. So it's identical on both sides of this. Here's the tag telling you what it is. And down here it has these elastic things, so maybe you can carry something like a med kit or something that's elastic that you just want to pull out or maybe one of those little packable jackets or a towel or something, a small towel. And um, then the whole back panel is all Velcro Molly. So these are obviously just set on there and you can attach things you want or if you have your rifle through the top, then you can strap it down so it's not moving. So that is the pack. Let me just shove this back down. And you can use this to like separate compartments. I've seen someone do that. Zip it back up here. And then and you have that. Alright. So that is basically the backpack. Um, just ran through it really quickly. It is this one's like some green, like ranger green, but it actually has a little bit of like camouflage, a tint of camouflaging. So you can see that. Um, I think you can uh, this way. Yeah. See, it doesn't. It's not a straight green. There's a little bit of like design. Um, camouflage and you can kind of see super subtle it looks super nice this this is a really nice bag I like the handles I really appreciate handles on the side so if you're just throwing in your car and you don't have the straps and you don't think you're gonna be you're just gonna be using it for like a, a um, storage bag in your car that's um, like a big med kit or a go bag in your car get your home bag you could just, it's not snagging with the straps. You can just throw it behind your seat. Seems really nice. Um, grab it from the top or the other side. Like that. Yeah, this is a good bag. Um, so that is the new Victos backpack. You guys, should check it out um, on the website. And I uh, can't wait to use it. All right. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later. Don't forget to subscribe and like the channel. Appreciate it. And go to my Instagram at RickTAK12. Talk to you soon.